So I'm going to show us how we can identify uh, who we should share the gospel with. And we like to do this using a relationship map. And so we're going to make this map um, first by putting your name in the middle of a sheet of paper. Or you can put me, I'm going to put me in the middle of this uh, whiteboard. And I'm going to draw maybe to start out with four or five lines. You can put as many as you want if you want to put 30 or five or however many. Uh, but these lines, at the end of them, we're going to write the names of people who we know who are far from God, who uh, God has made us an ambassador to, who he wants us to share with. And so I like to think through three different categories of um, people I can put around this. Uh, map. The three categories are first I think about people I'm close to, second I think about places I go, and third I think about passions that I have. And so for example, people I'm close to, let's say I have an Uncle Dave who is far from the Lord who I could share with. Maybe you have family members who are far from God. Hope not, but maybe so. Maybe I have a really good friend named uh, James who I know is far from the Lord. That I could share with. So that's people I'm close to. So places I go, I can think through if I go to the same, let's say, coffee shop, or I can even think through my neighborhood. I go there every day, or maybe I'm always at my kid's school. You know, if you have children, you can think through places you go. So let's say I have a neighbor named uh, Dan, and let's say I go to a coffee shop, and one of the baristas there is named Kevin. So, and these people are far from God. Maybe Kevin, I don't really know where he's at. I know he serves me my coffee, but I've never had a spiritual conversation. So this map, you can also put people that you just have no idea where they're at spiritually and you need to find out. And we can also think through passions that we have. So maybe if you have a particular sport you like to do or a hobby, maybe you like to go fishing or maybe uh, you just like to host people in your home, you can think about those passions that you have uh, that you use to connect other people. Like I really like running. And so I can think about people I run with, like maybe there's a guy named Alex that I like to run with and I know he's far from God. And so we can, we can fill this up as much as we uh, want and I would encourage you to pray through people in your life um, that God wants you to reach out with and just keep on adding to it. Even daily, pull this out and start praying for it. But Jesus in John 17, 20, he says, uh, while he's praying for his disciples, he says, I don't just pray for these, but I also pray for those who will believe in me through their word. And so when we're praying for these people in our life who are far from God, we want to pray not just for them, but we, we want to be like Jesus and also pray for the people in their life who they could share with should they come to Christ. And so it's uh, we can expand our our relationship map to the next generation. Let's say my uncle Dave, uh, you know, is around my aunt Dana more than I am. So he could share with her. And maybe my best friend James is dating a girl named Alice, who is also far from the Lord, who I don't talk to as much. Maybe Dan, who uh, I know that he has kids. I don't really know his kids' names, but I could write kids. I could write wife. You know, Kevin, I don't really know him that well. He's my barista, so I'm just going to draw an empty circle, but I want to pray that he would come to Christ and reach out to others. And Alex, who I run with, I know that he is in college, so he could share with people in his college. Or I know that he has some other friends, like he talks about his friend Bob, who he could reach out to. So in doing so, we can write this on a sheet of paper, continually pull it out, pray for it every single day, be intentional to ask God, who do you want me to share with today or this week? And just if God tells you to reach out to Alex or Uncle Dave or whoever it is for you, then just commit that and say, hey, we're going to do it. And even if you're around other believers, I would even encourage you to talk about your relationship map every week and set goals of how you're going to reach out to the people in your life who are far from God and needs to know the gospel.